<laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, to Baldur's Gate, to sit into Avernus. Um, <laughs> We're having way too much fun for hell. Uh, uh, some might say we're having a hell of a time. Um, <laughs> Hold on, am I Lawrence today? We got, <laughs> we got. How is Derek? <laughs> Chris is how. <laughs> hey, I'll rock with it. I'm Mark, hey, I'm Lawrence, to jump up I'm a little bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm Derica. My favorite, my favorite Harry Potter house Derica, is. How is Derica? <laughs> My favorite Harry Potter house is Slytherin, even though I've been saying Hufflepuff for this whole season. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense. No, I thought I, I thought I thought you said that your house was Lannister. Well, well, I'm. Hey. Derek. He, yeah. <laughs> oh well, we right, have, right. We have yeah, that makes sense. Chris, how do Chris's intro now? <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just gonna move Hal between uh, everyone. <laughs> Becca is saying we were being bad, and that's why it's all messed up, but, uh, nah. 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 Don't, don't lie to the people. <laughs> hey, y'all, I missed y'all last time. I love y'all, and I'm, and I'm sorry that I missed the anniversary, but I'm back. I missed all y'all. Y'all are wonderful. Missed you, too. Uh, glad to have the voice. Uh, it would been nice man. to have you in that fight. It, I was in the back. See, this is what happened. Malachi was in the back, um, and he had his go. bow, but it was three versus three. You know, it's a fair fight. He was just letting y'all. He was just letting y'all. You know what I'm saying? Now, if somebody else would have jumped in. Oh, they would have got. They would have got shots. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. yeah, he was just gonna. He's gonna let y'all. You know, figure things out. Are you telling you me know? you would have remembered that you're a ranger? Oh yes, I uh, see. I would remember that I'm a ranger and a rogue. So that's why I was sneaking in the back. See exactly. I, I, Damn. I can't talk because I forgot a bunch of times. Right. <laughs> when, he said, when he said, when he said, a ranger. I see. When he said, when he said, I'm a ranger and a rogue. That just reminded me of I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. I'm a I'm a child. I'm a mother. I'm a sinner. I'm a saint. I don't know how to be the same. I don't know how to be the same. I'm nothing. You're doing the wrong one. You're doing the wrong one. It is. You're doing the wrong one. See, I'm a choker. I'm a smoker. I'm a smoker. I'm a big man. I'm a big man. That's true. Yeah. Do you know who you're dealing with? No. Yeah, indeed. So dumb. Oh, man. Uh, welcome to uh, see, yeah, this is what this happens. It, yeah, this is what it's like before we go live. So we yeah, this is true. Hundred percent. Malachi, Malachi wakes up. No, no, Malachi wakes up every day talking about microphone checker, swinging sword, lecture, <laughs> closing down your sector, supreme neck protector. Better warn them, kid, miss the mess. Oh That's gosh. Funny. Welcome to Descent to Avernus. Um, we are certainly in Avernus. Uh, the <laughs> chaos that has ensued. And um, we're out of game. <laughs> yes. Um, when last we left the party, uh, you all, uh, after an altercation at the gates of Fort Knucklebone, um, you uh, made contact um, uh, with Mad Maggie, the, uh, the leader um and controller of Fort Knucklebone, the end all be all. Um and uh she uh recalled Lulu, um in particular, um her connection with two of her uh mechanics, two Kenku, um named Clonk and Chucka. Um and as... Chucka. Yeah, Clonk and Chucka. Um like they should be called Ratchet and Clank. Yes. A missed yes. opportunity, I suppose. <laughs> um, <laughs> um as uh as Clonk and Chucka um immediately recognized Lulu um on their way to the uh to their shop, um they um excitedly ran over to greet Lulu. 
um, who vaguely remembered the two. Um, and uh, in that time, um, it was implied by um, by Mad Maggie that there may be a way um, for you to uh, uh, to meet Zariel um, upon your suggestion, Dyline. Um, and that was roughly where we uh, where we ended. Now, um, in the middle of Fort Knucklebone, where um, there is uh, the the size and the um, the groans of the punished and tormented um, are somewhat muted in the in the midst of Fort Knucklebone, where um, there is seems to be an unending echo of clangs of metal. Um, and what seems to be, uh, what sounds like grinding and saws, um, and, uh, other mechanical work, um, as this seems to be where the, uh, the vehicles, um, um, uh, that was Fang and his group, uh, this is where they get their, uh, vehicles serviced, um, and as the the clangs of metal and the buzz of saws echo in the um throughout the fort mad maggie <laughs> invites you all to um invites you into what appears to be her um uh her abode um, as you walk in, uh, there are a number of uh, there are a number of devils, um, all with um, it seems to be kind of uh, fetters um, and chains uh, holding them um, and binding them um, to her service, uh, where there are glyphs in uh inscribed on these uh on these fetters that um that bind them to her service um as uh as she enters her abode um you notice that there are um there are statues of various individuals um in the opening hall of her house um uh one of which um you immediately recognize as Zario. Um and uh as the statue of Zario is at the forefront, um you notice that there is one statue um that has um that has been uh seemingly uh shattered and smashed. Um, and it is no longer, uh, it is no longer in one piece, um, in the foyer. As you, it, yes, Johan? Uh, are the pieces just still skewered, st uh, laying around on the pedestal, or? Yeah, they're still, they are still scattered on and about the pedestal. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they are on and about the pedestal, um, and that particular location is somewhat cordoned off. Um, and you can somewhat make out, uh, you can somewhat make out the face of the um, of the creature. Um, but yeah, it is it is in shambles about it. it might be her her ex boyfriend, and that's why she's not ready for attachments yet. Oh, was there a fight here or something? He he says, pointing to the, to the uh, the broken statue. Um, I, to which she replies, "Let's just say a uh, change in regime." Oh, long live the queen, I suppose. 
Indeed, long live the queen. And um, as um, as as Maggie moves through the hall, um, the devils um, that stand guard in their fetters uh, bow to her as she um, as she moves through. Um, and as she moves through this hall uh, with the statues, um, the she the guards that are at the end of this um, this foyer um, open the door that is at the very end of it. And as they open the door, it reveals this uh, this kind of makeshift. Uh, kind of a makeshift court. Um, it is the same, the same scraps of of metal that make up the walls of Fort Knucklebone, uh, make up the pillars uh, that stand about the fort. Um, that as you enter this courtyard, um, there is a throne at the end of it, um, with various scraps of iron composing the throne and there is what appears to be some sort of patchwork pillow making the seat of the of the throne um at the very end um at the uh, floating next to the throne you see the same flaming skull um that um that was with Maggie when she was on the wall earlier, when you were at the gates. Um, and upon opening the door, um, the skull uh, floats over to, um, it, like floats over to uh, Maggie. And uh, he begins, uh, he begins uh, speaking to her and addressing her um, as uh, the, as lady, and when he sees you all coming in, um, he quips, um, "Wow, she really is letting anyone in these days." Including you, my friend. And to that, the the orange flames in his eyes begin to glow a, a bright yellow. Um, and uh, he uh, he simply uh, he simply just kind of like looks at you um, very intensely. Um, and then he shifts his attention back to Maggie for a moment. Um, and he uh, moves closer to Maggie and he begins to whisper something. Um, can I can I hear what he's what he's saying? Uh, make a perception check. He's telling on Don Lion. Did you hear what he said about me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, only got 12. Um, you are not able to hear, overhear what they're saying. Um, uh, oh, eventually, I, I'll tell him if he doesn't start none, there won't be none. Reach. Okay, okay, okay. Again, folks, we're five minutes into this episode. No fight. <laughs> at, least, at least not for ten. <laughs> okay. Just say. <laughs> as um as he whispers, um as he his whispering comes to an end, Maggie eventually just kind of um she brings a, a finger to her lower lip and ponders for a moment and then she waves him away. Um and she simply says I'll take care of it in time. 
Worry of your own things, Barnabas. Um, to which Barnabas, the uh, the flaming skull, um, floats back to his station next to her throne, um, which Maggie takes um, a few seconds after. Um, Barnabas, didn't he like start a circus before he died and went to hell? Mm. Um, this this could be the Barnabas that you're thinking of. So. Uh, exploiting exploiting bearded people and uh and people who exploiting that's people one who way are to Aussies. describe it <laughs> yeah for sure. i mean yeah i mean he, he was he was he was exploiting he was exploiting people's uh he was exploiting people's uniqueness for for entertainment and in fact, I mean, yeah. rounds upon innocent children okay but you got to give it to him he had really good animal crackers he did have uh, one of them. Bay, I, I believe it was Barnum and Bailey. We mm, can't, we can't right, forget Bailey. You're right. No, I mean, yeah, ba- see, I, Bailey I was the. If you Bailey make a history was, check, uh, you might be able to. Uh, just PT Barnum's, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Not me Barnum, actually making a history was, check. I am making a history check. Fifteen. <laughs> so I got a seven. <laughs> Um, you do recall the tale of a a very uh, a very powerful wizard named Barnabas, um, whose uh, yeah, whose grave was defiled by his rival Bailey. Oh, but that's the most that you can recall. It'd be your own people. Oh no! This is right. Be your own. Right. Be your own people, man. Be your own people. I mean, the it's word is ba- a, a Bailey box. and Barnum used to be. Yeah, oh yeah. I think Barnabas's grave was turned into a a kitty litter box for the lions from the circus. Perhaps. Wow. Um, you know, all that wow. you know is that uh, the 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 uh, the w- other wizard Bailey uh, used to be an ally of of, of Barnabas. Mm. They were homies, and then they had beef. Mm-hmm. And now, yeah. now he's just a headless. Now he's just a bodiless skull floating in the floating in the, in the nine hills. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. He mm-hmm. looks like he got the short end of that stick. Could could yeah. his body like be a or the sharp end of it? A headless zombie wandering around. Yeah. Somewhere? Things. I mean, eventually things came to a head, and it didn't end well for Barnabas. Literally. Uh, <laughs> this is all too stupid. Yeah. It's too early. Dark. That is man it was too ahead early? of his That man was a hey, that man was ahead of his time. Okay. <laughs> uh just a reminder that if you are watching, um you can We're sorry. donate your channel points. Uh if you if you if you want a better story <laughs> uh, um to the GM or to the players um in order to uh in order to Nobody does that. <laughs> I'm just saying Look, all I'm saying is this. Give me We're an eloquent card. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for sticking with us. We're, we're um, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. But I'm just saying. No, give me Lawrence, an Lawrence, card. Lawrence. <laughs> we are still in the story. Lawrence. This is Malachi talking about no Malachi talking about the carnival. Like, look, if it. you have if you have a if you have an eloquent card. That, I, I, that treats people with I, actual dignity and respect, it would I be more ethical than the a, most a ethical, necromancer. The most ethical would be the necromancer because the workers are not suffering. <laughs> hey, they're dead. They don't buy the workers, the workers would try to eat the customers. That's no, not, 
You control I, them. You just you don't let them. Eat I the cannot. Customer. I cannot trust you saying that when you have pickled halfling's feet that you snack on. No, you would be one of those uh, zombies that were trying to eat people. And I Barnabas chimes it. in. <laughs> Barnabas chimes in and says, "Necromancy was Bailey's deal. All of my work was always ethical. Thank you very much." Exactly. And that was where it our seems opinions like in the end, It seems like in the end. <laughs> You know, in a Darwinist view, the necromancy argument wins out. Oh, in the Darwinist view, they specifically don't, because don't they have to survive, right? In Darwinism, in survival. Yeah. Yeah, and they, 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 they specifically did not survive. So, as. <laughs> as. At this point, um, at this point, um, you simply hear, um, you simply hear, uh, Maggie, um, yell, enough. See, Maggie agrees with me. He's gonna slap you again. What is your tie to El Terrell? It's it's family, Maggie. Maggie. It's, they're, it's they're people who don't deserve to be here. What is this talk of deserving? They signed a contract, didn't they? Not of their own volition. Um, they got sold out. Yeah, um, I had. Nor has the co- terms of the contract been fulfilled. And also, Maggie, like, if you were, if, if someone signed a contract and you didn't know that your soul was tied to the contract, kind of, you would be upset that you got dragged along to some shit that you didn't even know about. So that's kind of why we're here. Have some pity on those poor unfortunate souls. But no, pity. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You mean to tell me that it. none of those that none of those mooks knew how to read? I'm not saying that none of them knew how to read. I'm saying some people got manipulated and for worse. I, I'm not and... even saying that. I'm saying what they signed up for wasn't delivered. There's a breach what of contract. What exactly did they sign up for? Protection from undead and demons. They didn't get it. I believe they did. I believe they didn't. The undead and the the undead are not what has brought that has brought ruin to El Terrell. It was their own foolishness, their own greed that brought them to this place. Uh, Nothing more. Well, well, I'm going to have to speak to your manager. Wow. Okay. Question. This is actually Lawrence asked the question. Did we ever find out that? Um, the contract, the reason why the city uh, got sucked under was because the city, the, the, the city dude, the head dude of Alterrell signed the contract and everybody's souls was tied to it unwittingly. We know that, right? No, they, they signed, they were in agreement with the creed that they put forth, that the, uh, that the temple put forth. So everyone who is in the city, um, gave an agreement in accordance to this creed. Um, now, they Wait. may not have known the fine print of the creed, but yeah, they definitely agreed to it, yeah. Okay, so that leads to my second question that I just realized. That means the Hell Riders were also a part of that creed, right? Yep. Okay. Yes. Yeah, what was le- what was left of them? There weren't there weren't a lot of right. uh, redders left, but yeah, yeah, so, they so. they like uh, I th- I think so. Just quickly, like I think what you are there's credence to what you are saying. Yes, um, that they were manipulated, but people willingly like signed this creed yeah. that um, the high overseer Thavius Creek. Um, Enacted. So right, Thaddeus so- Krieg made the initial agreement with uh he didn't realize it was Zario at first. Eventually he did, but he reached out to anyone 
who was everyone to save them from yeah. the vampires years ago. Um, and then in re response to the, um, uh, the companion, um, he enacted this creed, which was what tied the city of El Terrell to, which signed over the city of El Terrell to Zario um, mm. as, as okay. exchange yeah. for the companion. Yeah. And people yeah. agree to that. Yeah, they didn't okay. know what they were signing is not going to work in a hell court. However, it, 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 it doesn't it doesn't work uh, like it, 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 it especially doesn't that that barely works in like, I mean, you can argue that the American court system is a hell court, but like you, you can, that, that barely that barely works. That barely works in like a, a real world Above court. ground. It's not going to work. Wait. Wait, wait, wait! I'm just saying possession. Possession is nine tenths of the law, and if I and if and if I do not know that that my possessions are being taken, uh, manipulated. No, or, the point or is or that you possession is not a law here in the Vernus, kiddo. <laughs> All right, so, and if and if we were and if we were reneging on deals because people didn't read the fine print, hell would be empty. All right, so oh, hell hell would question break as it. a player, question as a player. Uh, this was explained mm -hmm. to us, but I don't remember the answer. So what was Zariel's uh, side of the contract to provide? She provided the companion, which uh, stopped the vampire scourge. That, that's, that stopped the undead scourge. That was, that was what her... Uh, because if it, were, if it was not for that, um, Eltera would have been overtaken by the, the vampire lord and his undead. And the companion saved that's the city from that mm -hmm. oh, there, there was strive. something that we we found oh, out she was supposed to do and didn't i don't remember what it was well our whole thing is to either kill kill material to prove that the contract was not executed in the way that it was supposed to like right so because was no there was something way. she was supposed to do that didn't and she didn't do it I don't remember we what could, that is. I, I, we I, could I, try talking to her and just seeing maybe she'll she'll let go of the contract instead of just trying to murder her. Like you know, a conversation what? could there. Be uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm uh, to be to be one hundred percent, and this is one hundred percent honest as the GM. I do not recall that there is something that that sh that act she actively did not do that was in the contract. Okay. Um, I, I thought it was the, something I, like protect them from demons or something like that, but I I may be misremembering. If nobody else, no, it was just it was just undead that was fucking up that city, and then she 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 did that yeah, for fifty years. What what you what you know is that if the if the contract is destroyed, if you find the original contract and it is destroyed, right. that undead like that that breaks the contract. Um, if Zariel dies, that also breaks the contract. Um, if you are somehow able to, like, if you are somehow able to introduce a loophole into the contract, mm -hmm. um, that also breaks it. That, like, those are the way. Those are the the ways that a, a devil's contract is broken. Um, other than that, the the contract is binding. Um, and so, anyone and everything that has signed that has signed to that contract um, is bound to that contract. Or die wait, like wait, cast hold on, wait, magic. wait, hold on, wait. Are our souls signed to that contract? No, you guys weren't like you guys unless oh, we didn't sign you, it. Yeah, none of you were in El Terrell, um, and none of you were are citizens of El Terrell, so you didn't sign the contract. No, your your soul is not tied to that. Um, oh my god. What yeah. about? Uh... <laughs> Did like every single person in the city sign the contract? Like even the babies. Every per, every person who was of age and um So are the people who are not it's, of age? It's, it's like it's like a it's like a it is like a it's it's like a, a, a creed of like like I sign my family's house like okay. to right, this. Right. it's it's right. it, it was that type of thing. There may like there may be like because there were people who escaped, right? There are people who like Fabius Krieg escaped. There were refugees that went to Baldur's Gate. Um but like in some capacity, even in Baldur's Gate, your like your soul is still tied 
to I'm that. Just... So like, so you you may be, you may have bought yourself some time, but your soul is still tied to that contract. So what about? I don't know if we know the answer to this, but like, what about somebody who was just staying in an inn, passing through the city at the night that it got sucked down? Didn't live there, didn't sign anything. Did they go to hell too? Um, Die Lion, don't you have friends who were in the city? Uh, yes. Uh, and she got pulled down too. Uh, you you uh, muted you muted yourself. Chris. Oh, oops. Yeah. Uh, damn. I am blanking on her name. Uh, yeah, it was it was it was Derricka's character for the one for the the prequel one shot that we did. Yeah. Oh what? yeah. Uh, Janet Jackson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you you did have a friend who mm-hmm. um yeah who was was pulled down. Yes, they, uh, and they yes, had no connection to they had no connection to El Toro. Correct. So, well, actually, yeah. I mean, we all got pulled down because. So wait, so there's well, people guys, who are you, down. You guys too. went that went that's into right, El Toro. Right, yeah, no, you no. guys so, plane shift. So we made a decision. So there are mm-hmm. people. Yeah, we made a decision when we was at Candlekeep. That's right. But there mm-hmm. are people who were who were who were there who didn't sign the contract who got pulled down anyway. That's fucked up. But there's and that's but not there's a difference I think between so being you should, pulled down it, and your soul being tied to a Vernus, right? Because if mm-hmm. you're just pulled down, in theory. You could leave if your soul is tied to a virus. Yeah, yeah you just gotta different. find. You just gotta buy a ticket uh, back to the the material plane. Right. You know? So right, you have people who may not have money to buy cows and donkeys and fertilizer. That's gonna be in hell trying to get out. Like that's not cool. That's fucked up. Um, are you are you saying that in character? I'm saying that in character. <laughs> well, the world's not cool, kid. Get used to it. All right, so so if we were to argue a loophole to Zariel, who would be the uh, arbitrator who would who would listen? Is it Zariel herself, or would you do that, Maggie? I don't have any personal qualms with Zariel. In fact, I think Avernus is the best that it's been in years under Zariel's control. So I'd be a fool to try and bite that hand. But is she a uh, ma? Making Avernus great again, or yeah, Mega making wow. Avernus great again. <laughs> Get out, Hal! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> if it's a, if it's, I'm beyond the right, so internet. I can tell <laughs> you, I can tell you that since the Mega Initiative has gone into place, things are better for the devils that are actually in charge. Wait, quite wait. That's actually uh, Malachi actually has an interesting question. Uh, or, or uh, actually, both. So wait, who was controlling a burner before she got here? We don't like at talk. one point. We don't like to talk about that. It was Gargath. Gar- wait, the shield. The shield was running hell before. Gargath. I haven't heard. I haven't heard that name in centuries. Gargath had. Uh, responsibilities, but he wasn't in charge of this place. I wonder whatever happened to that guy. What exactly was his position? Oh, well, he was a part of the old regime. He worked for Bell. Was he Was he Bell's Barnabas? You could say that. He was working his way up the ladder. He was pretty proficient. There were a couple of there were a couple of time zones when he had the uh, highest soul intake in all of Avernus. Jeez. But oh. as I recall, one of his uh, one of his contracts backfired, and I hadn't heard of him after that. Hmm. In what ways did the contract what backfire? Do you mean, uh, what she means, she hasn't heard of me. <laughs> no, no, she said she heard of you. She just said she hasn't heard about you in a long time. Will you tell her she can stick her ear in up her? Now, now, Gargath. Uh, your value isn't, isn't placed in, in other people's uh, 
uh, fear or recognition of your name. You are a very valuable shield, and we will treat you as such. Either way, that's the thing about contracts. Sometimes they can go both ways. Sometimes you make a deal, and you find your way out of it. What I can tell you, working with devils for centuries, is that sometimes their pride overtakes them. It's been done before. Where sometimes they don't consider all of the possibilities of what they're agreeing to. Or how that agreement might be broken. There was a certain tiefling who made a deal. And freed himself. Yeah. It was unlikely, but he did it. Who, who, was, who was that? Who was that team? Uh, uh, from... I don't, I don't recall his name, but... No one does. It's one of those M names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a history check. I'm doing a history check. <laughs> Dang no, it. I think you ought to do a memory check, because I think you probably saw him. I think we did see him. I think it's the... I got 17. I think it's no, the No, no, no. This, is, that, this uh, is Winston's character from Episodicals, too. It's Matthias, but, but his whole thing was he had a... Uh, that was not his real name. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't recall his name for sure, but they say that he actually. It was like Matthew, right? Michael. Yeah, it was one of those common, one of those common folk names. Maybe it was um, Mortimer or uh... Mordecai. Mm-hmm. Mordecai, that might be it. Either way, I hear he's still in the conning business. Moriarty. He was. <laughs> is that is is he is he the legendary Moriarty? Is that what he, is that what's going on? Either way, Moriarty would have he, been smart enough to out outsmart Golgoth and trick him. I, he's not in hell, so obviously he's done that. So the news well, to go. They say that he goes back and forth between hell and the material plane. Sometimes trying to steer people from making the wrong agreements. He goes both ways. He's non-binary. But, um... How would we, how do we, as, a, as this group, find a loophole in Zerio's contract? Like, I don't think, I don't think, uh, by itself, um, saying that you pulled people down here who didn't sign your contract is going to be good enough. Well, we need to find the contract itself, and if we can't outright destroy it, we need to find the most vicious, vile lawyer who ever went to hell, convince him to help us find a loophole. Or her. Aren't most lawyers vicious and vile? Yes, but out of all the lawyers in hell, we got to find the most vicious one. Who would be the most vicious lawyer in hell? Phoenix wrong? Maggie? Johnny, Johnny Boxen. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not much of a, uh, a loyally type, you know. Most of my rule is from power and intimidation, if you haven't noticed that by now. Yeah, Maggie, Maggie's the type of person that tell you to either get down or lie down. Yeah, that's raw sexual appeal. That's, yeah, that's not intimidation. That's <laughs> why <laughs> I mean... <laughs> some, people, some people like some people like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> he's not wrong. Um, <laughs> um, 
it seems like Johan likes to be dominated. So I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> Johan, Johan, Johan's a sub. <laughs> but, as I said before, there are people who have weaseled their ways out of contracts before. I don't know it, if you know anyone like that, but is it possible that we could find this guy that you're talking about? Could we find him and try to get him to help us break this contract? Do y'all know what if this you, guy if, looks if like? You, if you find him. What, what, the, uh... The guy who was controlling the Minotaur skeletons. Do you think he, he uh, would be a guy to talk to? Back in the graveyard? Yeah. You're asking that to the party, correct, Yon? I'm asking that to the party, but I ask it out loud, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I think I mean, you guys, I, I I do want to put it in perspective. He was literally serving Zario, so yeah. Um, I don't know that he would be the best person to try and break the contract right. with Zario because he seemed to be pretty okay with that contract. Okay, yeah, he was, I, I knew he was connected with it, but I thought he was independent for some reason. Okay, so maybe right. not. He wouldn't be a good idea, but the tiefling guy that y'all was just talking about, who helps people break out of these contracts. He would be a great person to talk to because he's um, done. And I do want to bring uh, attention. Um, I do want to bring attention uh, to our our little um, cobalt friend Tatian. Um, we could ask Tiamat for help. That you had uh, 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 an extensive conversation with an individual about contracts and deals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think I think Tatian had like the reason why she jumped into that fight that Dialyne started was I think she was just like, listen, we got to get this stuff done before the world ends or none of it matters. And is kind of just like <laughs> scorched earth policy right now. <laughs> um, yeah. OK. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do. Can I do a roll to see if Tati's gonna try to reach out to Tima? Tati on her paid the pool right now. Yeah, you I mean, <laughs> when it when it comes to your character making decisions, okay. you can like you can make whatever role you want to. Yeah. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Anybody who said any jealous to me is dead, B. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's that's Tati right now. Makai right now. Um, she's Makai Pfeiffer she right now. <laughs> I think I think Tati is like looking at everyone, looking at her, and is just kind of like, um, why would I know about contracts? What what a what do you like agreements and whatnot? Why would I? We're asking, do you have any thoughts on the matter, Tati? We didn't say that you were an expert. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I, I, I think maybe uh, we, uh, and she like looks around and says, we, we should find the contract. Maybe that's easier than a loophole. Well, I don't know that we can find a loophole without looking at the contract anyway. Yeah, it's also uh, do, don't we have a, a copy of it, or did we have a copy of it that we looked at in the? Uh, I don't the... think so. I mean, you had a yeah, you had a copy of it. No, we had a copy. Yeah. No, we had a copy of it at Wait. Candlekeep. So when when you brought the the box that you brought to Candlekeep, that that puzzle box that mm -hmm. um, that uh, she was able to s solve, had a copy of the contract. It, okay. I don't it was it, it wasn't the original contract, but it was a copy of it. Yeah. And that's how we do, we do all the particulars. It? Do we still have it? I believe we do. Yeah, you I mean you yeah. The infernal puzzle box, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's Yeah, you still have it. Maybe we should take some time.
while we're while we're in a safe space, maybe we should take some time, look at it, and see if we can uh, if see if we can find the loophole. If we can't, then maybe we should try to find the dude that you were talking about, the tiefling guy. I I think that's a fine idea, but even assuming we do find a loophole, then what do we do with it? We use it to exploit. Right, how? Well, we just, we'd have to f- find Tyrael and... Uh, Walk up to her and say, look at this, da 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 Or it, can we, sorry, can you we can, you can it do Maggie? your m- manager thing. <laughs> I, I want to talk to your manager up until we're talking to Zariel. That might work. Hey. Hey. I mean... I, I mean, I it either might, it might work or it might get you flayed alive. No, see, we'd have to lose a fight for that to happen. He, he, he's into that. Well, I can, I can see that this one is into a lot of things, <laughs> especially toes. Hey, toes are good. Yeah, we had another guy down here that was into toes. I think Tarantino was his name. Halfling toes and elf ears. So what is the so what is the what's the 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 consensus here? I'm fine with looking at it. I mean, I think that uh, since apparently we have it, you know, it doesn't hurt to look at it then. Perhaps, perhaps. What kind of check would we need to make? And also, I'm going to use a nat 20 on it. <laughs> um, for, you are assuming a lot. Um, it would not be a... a uh, uh, yeah, you're assuming a lot. Listen, go bigger, go home. What I need to check? Because I'm gonna ace it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Listen, I just gotta do the best I can with what I got. Hey, that's all we can ask. Hey, hey, that's all we can ask for. Uh, I'm going to use. uh, I'm going to do an investigation, and I'm going to use guidance on that investigation to see if I can. Or insight would insight be good to see what type of what type of uh, loose threads I can pull to make a loophole. Um, here is let's see. <clears throat> oh man, do I get to use my real life brain? Boom. Oh, that Wait. good old electric meatball you got! What are we? What are we looking at? I hate that you said that. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> electric, electric meatball. <laughs> oh, I hate it. <laughs> see, see, here's see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is so. So, I, in my head, I've I've. This is the so I have given I have just mm-hmm. given the contract to you all. Um, I, I will read it aloud um, so that um, uh, for but the infernal contract, which is it is laid out on seven obsidian metal uh, slabs um, chained together, and it says, "Be it known to all that I, Thavius Krieg." High Overseer of El Terrell, have sworn to my master Zariel, Lord of Avernus, to keep the agreements contained in this oath. I hereby submit to Zariel in all matters for all time. I will place her above all creatures, living and dead. I will obey her in all my days and beyond with fear and servility. I recognize the dispensation of the device called the Solar Insidiator, hereafter called the Companion. In my capacity as High Overseer of El Terrell and its vassal territories, I acknowledge that all lands falling under the light of the Companion are forfeit to Zario. All persons bound by oath to defend El Terrell are also considered forfeit. I further recognize that this dispensation will last 50 years, after which the Companion will return whence it came, taking El Terrell and its oath-bound defenders with it, if that is Zario's wish. 
all this is my everlasting pledge. That right. is the infernal agreement that was it. made. I found the loophole. I found it. Jeez. Please share I with wish... the class. I, I really Ariel wish... Ariel is spelled with a Z. <laughs> and no, no, seriously, the Lord of Avernus' name begins with an X. What? Right? <laughs> right? This is not a stream the for kids, typo. so fucking what? <laughs> the typo. It's, the there's typo. a typo. They misspelled the name. The of the Lord of it's it. It first of all, this is translated from uh, from uh, in, Infernal in, to Common, Infernal and, and it is not. It is not spelled wrong, How, and it does not start with an X. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. So no, it doesn't. Funny though. According to according okay. to whom? Right. You're thinking of a different Zario, if that's the case. Right. You're thinking um, of the you're thinking of the Zario that lives on Eighth Street in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Not... All right, I just I just want to say I just want to say the uh, wait. Creek spelled his name right. He did. I, I just want I just want to say that the way that I wish that you that can I you wish... can read Infernal. <laughs> yeah. I can't I, I can't I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say that I wish my girlfriend yes, talked yeah, to me, yes, talked about me the same it's, way it's, that Fabius Creek. Zario N, not Zario M. You are correct. And Zario. Oh um, yeah, that's crazy. I was trying to go. I was trying to go. A uh, series of unfortunate events is like, well, he signed it with his left hand, and he's right-handed, therefore. <laughs> His fingers might have been crossed when he signed it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't pinky promise. He didn't pinky promise. I'm yeah, but saying. that is th that is the infernal contract as it is written. Okay. I still think the name is spelled. <laughs> if I'm you sure, go, I'm Zario, sure you do. you're at you're at liberty to to. If, if to you go to Zario. Saying that she's gonna laugh at you and then skin you alive. Now I know that you like extreme BDSM, but that's not a good thing. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm in a half infernal, of course. I'm just saying there there are hard limits, okay? And it's not for you to set his limits, okay? But as a matter of fact, let's get let's get with his bedroom, all right? Like, like nipple piercing, like literally invented in hell. I would like to go on break, please. Yeah. I think that is a good place for us to go on break. Thank you, Derica. Um, we will be back in 10 minutes. <laughs> no, that is not an acceptable kink, Johan. No. And we're live. <laughs> Everybody's got to pick to their nose sooner or later. <laughs> this is the whole reason we went on break, yo. Why? Oh my god! I was just trying to match the the enter the energy that we went into break with with the energy that we're coming out of break with. Uh, so so um, the so the so the real question is: what's So acceptable with the infernal in contract, with the, the the infernal contract, as long as somebody's screaming. <laughs> As long as somebody's screaming. So the infernal contract um, is, you know, it has, this is as it was written, as it was agreed to. Um, and so this is this is what is this is what is in front of you. Um, okay, all right. So I found another potential loophole. You guys are gonna like this. Oh, oh somehow Jesus. I don't think that I will. But all right. So this. I have to ask a game master question first. So is this a yes and kind of scenario, or are you allowed to veto my bullshit? Yes. <laughs> and there is no and. <laughs> no, no, this is not a this is not a I am I'm one hundred percent allowed to within right. whatever the confines of this world is. So if the, if it's not the case, it's not the case. But you know, you're allowed okay. to ask right. any question that you'd like. Yes. All right, all right. All right, so here, here's the potential loophole. Uh, the, it, I'm going to uh, lay out the assumptions first. So hell is a bad place. I think we can all agree. So mm, for, hell, for some, yeah. mm -hmm. hell is a place where paternalistic language 
and uh, forcing gender roles onto people is a thing. So no matter what Zeriel may want to identify as, if she's a she, in hell she's a she. So that means she can't be the Lord of Avernus. She can be the Lady of Avernus. No, Lord is a gender, is a, no, Lord is a gender, a gender neutral term. But it isn't, uh, and, and and it is, and it is, <laughs> it is binding. Uh, <laughs> it's, that's because Lord of Avernus is what Zario like, calls herself. If it wasn't binding, then we wouldn't be here in the first place. Right. Yeah. Counterpoint. Because we just came. We just came well, from so, a place so where a lady was is, the duke. They're talking about two different serials, yeah. so that's a conflict which invalidates. Okay. The contract. Well. There's a serial wow. who's there was the lord a, of there Avern. Was a, there was, There's there a was female serial who is referred to as her. So that's he fully that's interjects. Well. Just fully interjects. It's like there, there was a, a tiefling. Um. I don't don't remember their name because trauma. Morty uh, or Marty McFly. <laughs> Marty McFly. And because I of may, trauma, may have met them. <laughs> Possibly. When was are, are you talking about? Are, are you talking about Elsaf? Yes. Okay, so I have a potential third, but this <laughs> loophole. Okay. 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 Wait. Pause. Pause. I want to hear it, but first, taters. Um, Continue what you were saying, taters. Uh, maybe the L, L, maybe he can help. Elsa. He did seem to know a lot about uh, contracts and deals. I I I don't know how to. Uh, Contact. I just uh. Well, El Elspeth, El Elstaff, <laughs> Elspeth, Eli. Um, after a couple of minutes, nothing happens. Okay. Well, in a couple of minutes, I have a third uh, loophole to, to lay out here. Or a potential, because because this again depends on the game master agreeing. I, 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 this is this is this is I I really hope that this is worth it because this is the last one that I will entertain. Okay, in this moment, yes. It it depends when exactly what time of day did the <laughs> did uh, Elter L fall? Not promising. It, no, it's it. Well, it it may not be because if it was at night, boom. You may not. Boom, you may boom. not. You may not know. You don't know that that information. All right. So, can we find out? I mean, technically, if that depends. Does Dylion remember? Wait, was Dylion there? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. As it yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I will say. Uh. What was your question again? I'm sorry. Did El Terrell fall into Avernus at night? Uh, no. I believe it happened during the day. Did it not? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it all, did. Right, all right. So the also, what is what it. is it being at night? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> it clearly says, Johan, Johan, it clearly says in the contract that uh, at any the... time... Yeah, at any time under uh, the under the light of the companion. Yeah, yeah. D that doesn't. <laughs> the, the companion was still even at night. The companion was so active. Yeah, uh, Johan. Uh, it, it the the contract says that you know Jerio could snatch it up. Right. Whenever she felt like it after after the you know the companion did his job for fifty years. Yeah. She was. She snatched. She snatched a soul. All right. So, all right. So, I, I misunderstand the companion. That that was the like the artificial Smash. sun overhead, right? Yeah, that was the it, artificial sun I, overhead. That that's how it could be described. It is not an artificial sun. 
Okay, it's a so, solar insidiator. All right, so it which is you. a way better name than the companion. Yeah, they should have just kept calling it the solar insidiator. All right, so so it was like mm-hmm. like literally just over the city. It wasn't like it's way marketing guy like the sun. Yeah, it was. It was. I mean, it wasn't as far away as the sun because the sun is light years away. But yes, it was up in the sky above the city. Day and night, so they 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 yeah, never had day and night. Time. Okay, all right. Uh, so they I didn't. Should... They did. They didn't have like a traditional nighttime. No. So you got to keep the vamps away. Yeah. All right. So I, I misunderstood. That. Okay. Yeah. Um. It is called the uh the solar. The main reason it's a solar insidiator because that uh, there was actually an imprisoned solar in the in the orb. Wait, the orb had so wait, the, the day, orb had an no, wait wait the orb had an angel that was trapped inside of it for fifty years. What happened to that angel? Probably still in there because he came back to hell, right? Wait, was the angel snatched down into hell into hell too? Maybe that's an ally we could use to fight against Zerio because Zerio took an angel and put the angel into a, a into the. I mean, we companion. don't know that that happened could have mm-hmm. just found the orb with the angel already in it and was like you want this is this uh, possible? can i can we talk can we talk to the shield and ask the shield does he have any information on the on the angel that was stuck in the, in the orb yeah i mean you can ask you can ask whatever you want to yeah i would like to ask the shield if he knew about yeah. the 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 angel that was stuck in the uh, in the companion. I mean, I don't know much about the companion. I don't want, I don't know much about Zario outside of the fact that she's the one in charge now. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. I I'll be quiet. <laughs> um. Would Tati have any idea of how to get in touch with? Um, a fourth one, maybe. But go on. <laughs> Not entertaining touch. anymore. <laughs> How to get you, in you touch with three what's wishes. his name? <laughs> That's, that um, was not specified. Loophole right there. He literally said that. Like you're about to t- you're about Yeah, I literally, literally said, said <laughs> this is the last one that I will entertain I, for this moment. For this I, moment. I, did I sign on it? No. No, it it, it wasn't. It, it, it wasn't about contract. you agreeing to it. It was me saying that I'm not going to entertain anymore. But, but if uh, I didn't sign on it, I'm not bound to it. So I is mean, there yeah, any is way not. for Tati to get in touch <laughs> with... Uh... Um, Maybe I think you can ask it, if someone I, has sending or something. Yeah, like you could, may, you could ask that like you could yeah like there are okay. ways like if you you know uh, if any way that you might be able to like recall maybe what they were wearing or like if you could visualize what they looked like and that type of thing for sure only they're a shape shifter so they could look like anything but i know what they look like pre and post tiefling transformation so maybe that's helpful um, M- 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 Maggie, uh, y- you were talking ab- about a, t- a tiefling. Yeah. Uh, I I think I know know who that is. Um, could could you help us get in con- contact with him? You know the bastard. Unlikely. M- maybe unlikely but not impossible she um she stops for a moment she looks at barnabas um and she like she speaks low she's not whispering but she speaks low You know, I have wanted to meet the guy. Well, yeah, people talk about him a lot, but... I don't know, this could also be a dead end. Yeah. 
maybe. Well, I mean, of course, yeah. Okay. So say um, I entertain your, um, your suspicion. What's in it for us? Ah. Uh, you get the poss possibility of meeting a le legend. Okay, meeting a legend. I mean, that's, that's great. I've met Zariel herself. But, I mean, the next? clearly. Uh, I've got... Uh, I've got a, I've got a business to run. We've got a, a shop to keep on float. I I've got t t t t t twenty p platinum. <laughs> Look, kid, your money's no good here. Now, if you're talking soul coins, um, and she, um, and she pulls out a um, uh, the same coin that you saw uh, Wizfang give to her. Um, previously at the gate when she lifted him up. Um, it, it looks like the same type of coin. Um, and she pulls it out of, uh, she kind of like materializes it and kind of like whips her hand up. Um, and between her like spindly, um, wrinkled fingers um, is this coin um, with a face of agony on one side and a face of like joy and glee on the other side. Uh, made of this like uh, this dark gray metal. Oh, well, I mean, stands the reason you can't have joy without hurting somebody else. Uh, <clears throat> now, if you now say that there's uh, souls involved in it, or something that could be uh, that could be worth my while. What would be something that's worth your while? Um, the, the, this is this is my negotiation. I'm just asking for care, clarification. I'm not trying to step on your toe. Um, you do notice that she uh, um. You do know that she has, I would say that you've gathered that she has some level of reverence for Zariel and the things of Zariel. Um, one, from the way that she is tr she treated Lulu, um, as well as the statue, and what appears to be, um, like, and she's wearing, people in her armor. And yeah. she's wearing the MAGA hat. Right. Uh, oh, how, how about, uh, we we find Zariel's so sword. Zariel's sword, you say? Now you're talking business. And she missteps right, and she appears right in front of you, um, in this cloud of mist, um, as it swirls and uh, and she materializes right in front of you. Now we're talking business. You have a lead on it. You could say that. You you could also um, n not say that. But my goal is to later? find it and uh, to uh, ultimately end up with the sword. But but I d don't need it forever. I could g give it to you when when I'm done done with it. Um. Do you have a? Th is there a thought there, Malachi? I think Taylor said too much, but I'm gonna just be quiet. None of it matters. The mother of dragons is coming. <laughs> ah, Morghulis. That doesn't. That's not how that works. <laughs> so, you, so, you didn't, so you didn't say anything. So you don't say anything. I, I'm not saying anything. anything. Okay.
Could you make a persuasion um, check? Yeah, with, adva I think, with advantage. I, I, ooh, I have advantage, but I'm not very persuasive. I should use uh, my at 20. I'm gonna... It is up to you. I'm gonna... Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm doing. We can't. We can't give this hag the sword of Zario. We can use that as a bartering trade. Are you saying this out loud? The city out of hell. Uh, yeah, I am actually saying this out loud. We could use the sword of Zario as a bartering trade. You call her a to hag to her out. face? She is. She is. She's a. She's a bear hag. That's like. Oh. This is not an insult. That's, yeah, that's not an insult. I'm just saying, like that's, that's, who, that's like. We, I kind of feel like it is. is when you say this hag. <laughs> Yeah. The, I mean, I, I mean, it's like that's like saying like this guy. Also, thank you, action, yeah. thank you, Action Surge Five E for the follow. Um, you get to grant yeah. one of the players or the GM um, inspiration for that follow. So thank you. We cannot, we cannot. No, no offense, no offense given, but we cannot give her the sword of Zario when we can use it as a bartering ship with Zario. Well, well one, one moment, please, and I pull. <laughs> Malachi is fine. <laughs> now, as 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 the two are pulled aside, you notice that one of Mad Maggie's eyes follows uh, uh, Tatian and Malachi, and the others stay kind of like shifting between the lion. How many? And the, and, and, <laughs> and the other, because she okay. has a, she has a, yeah, she yeah. has her, she has her crows with her. So like you know. So, the, wait, wait, yeah. wait. She's 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 moving them like it's independently of one another. Yes. Yeah, that's hot. Oh my god, that's nightmare fuel. <laughs> Oh, sorry. All right. So Dylan is gonna start like shifting a little bit over to the opposite direction just to see just how far. <laughs> and it and it and it it follows. Um, uh, it, he's trying to read a lot about it. <laughs> it. Yeah, it just slow. It is. It slowly. The moment so you start funny. moving, it just locks on you, and it slowly drifts um, in that okay. direction until it, until it gets to the other side. At which point the uh, the crow. That is one of the crows that is on her staff flies to that shoulder and then begins to watch you. Yes, yeah. the the purplish veins of her eyes start to bulge as it turns. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. oh my god! The, as as it um as that eye goes as far as it can in its socket, and when the crow flies over, um the the eye just snaps to you, Johan, um in the middle of that. And also, okay. Tatian, you Chase. have inspiration, uh, thanks ah. to Action Surge 5e. Thanks so much, Action Surge. Thanks, Action Surge. T taters. Taters? Look, I understand Look, you No, have, no. Have, no. Have, no. Taters? Listen. Taters? No. No. Taters? Taters? Listen. Taters? No. Look, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'll let you speak. Let me finish. None of this matters. Taters. The monster of the dragon is coming. Taters. Children. Taters. Taters. Children. Taters. Children. Just because children, the mother of the dragon is... <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Stay calm out Calm down. This. Just because the mother of children... Just because the mother of dragons is coming does not mean we make a worse decision when we can make a logical decision of getting the city out of this, here. We will use that first, and then when we're done with the sword, we give it to Maggie. Not before. Whoa! <laughs> Taters. Okay. It you don't have time for this, and like she slaps idea. him. Nice. <laughs> the mother of dragons is coming. Making it, making it, uh, 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 just an attack roll uh, at advantage. What does you, you, you slapping me have to? Is a nineteen that help in the situation? It yes, it does. Better. But our class is low. You see. I don't know you tripping. You just hitting people for no damn reason. Oh. Yeah, she she slaps you square across the face, Malachi. <laughs> and after and she hits you so hard that your tongue begins to tingle. You can't taste anything. Damn! Slap the taste right out of your mouth. 
Yeah. That that doesn't that that did not help anything. You you attacking me is not helping. See, that's how I know you're tripping. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Because that's trauma. And now you're hurting people that's not hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> See? Trauma. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> So Dai are you, you going to hurt somebody who's on your side? <laughs> Dai, Dai Lion is, is going to, to heal him, and then he is going to step in between the two, and he is going to say, uh, enough. Like, we we need to have a unified front if we're going to make it through hell. And arguing in front of Come. hags, yeah, it's not, gonna, it's, not, it's not going to strengthen our position at all. As teammates, we just back each other up, and then we figure out our shortfalls like together later. All right, mm. uh, to stand together or not at all. Do you hear me? Y- y- yes. Do you hear me? And he, he turns to look to to uh, to Malachi. I I don't know what to say right now. My tongue's still fucked up. Uh, you, <laughs> you can nod. You can nod. <laughs> Do you hear me? Nod my, nod my ass. This is not cool. <laughs> I, I understand. She, she was, she is wrong. She is not, she's not to hit you. Uh, but I, oh, by the way, I'm healing you, so I'm, your tongue I'm should standing, be fine. I'm standing behind yeah. you. And I'm just going. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, just we, we'll fight, we'll fight in private, not in front of other people. All right. Yes, yes, sir. And I'll say, I'll back, I'll back up. I will give you inspiration for that, Dai Lion. And um, as you say that, um, Maggie, um, her shoulders do, don't move at all, but her neck and her head lowers. And she's like, Yes, after all, what's hell if you don't have friends to go with you? <laughs> Hell is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> I wasn't. That's so true. <laughs> That's this whole cast. Thank you very much. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh and, no! And this is how much. This is how much no. you get healed back. By the way, fourteen. <laughs> yeah, that's all the damage oh, that thank uh, you. I tell you. Yeah. But I also healed a little bit, so yeah. Tati does feel better having slapped you. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't uh, make like, me feel literally. better. <laughs> well, this, it this search of positivity does. With the yeah. <laughs> so the question is, what am I getting paid to reach out to this um, individual? We'll, we'll owe you a favor. Oh, that's so much worse. How is that Favors. worse than giving than giving an art than giving an ancient weapon to a hag? To a what if the, I just want to say the favor I, is look, to I, get the sword? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, what if that's just the favor? Like you just wrote a blank check. Yeah. You just that's you so just wrote worse. you just wrote a blank check when originally she was gonna give fifty thousand dollars. So I mean I, I mean perspective, right? For sure. <laughs> I, I um, Nominate. I think you. I think that you yeah. need. I think that you need to put into perspective that this is a bear hag who has lived in hell uh, for probably the past couple of centuries, and is uh, is essentially running what is, you know, what we would call Switzerland in the first layer of hell. Hell. So. I don't think <laughs> that she would uh, miss the opportunity to get exactly what she wants in this scenario. So I, I, I do want to put that into perspective for you, Ma- Malachi. So uh, I take you to our fan of Zarya's. No? <clears throat> we- I would say um, an admirer. I have, uh, I have uh, followed her conquest. Yeah, she wears that. Uh, it, it, as I look around, do I see? Do I notice that that, that she is like a collector or, or, of stuff and or things? 
Yeah, you actually notice that there are a number of like of like odd, seemingly odd trinkets, weapons, um, about uh, most of them with like very very ornate designs, and it is in stark contrast to the courtyard that you are in. Whereas the courtyard is made of these scraps and and bobs of this like obsidian dark uh, metal. Um, and this kind of piecemeal together. All of these artifacts and items are rather intricate in their design. Some of them not even appearing to be infernal. Uh, so Dylan is going to produce the infernal puzzle box, and uh, he is going to say, Look, "This here holds the contract of uh, holds a copy of the contract that that has us down here in the first place." Uh, and uh, she. She once again misses over almost um, like m much faster than uh, than she did when um, when Tatian mentioned the sword. Um, A gift for me. Mm, gift. It's not really a gift. If yes, alone. Alone. How about alone? Alone. So, who it is? <laughs> Tattoo pulls back her hand again. <laughs> you hit me again, I will stab you. I want you to know this. <laughs> you hit me again, so, I will stab you. There's what no services am I rendering for this um, payment? So Dylan is is like holding both of them up by the scruff, and he's like, "So uh, I'm saying." <laughs> So the puzzle box for for passage and uh, and and ongoing support uh, until uh, until you know we until we accomplish our objective. This is a very very valuable piece. There's only what. Two in the entire multiverse that that have the <laughs> not the multiverse. <laughs> this is the, technically there, there is a multiverse. technically I I have heard well tech well, <laughs> yeah. well technically there's no there's technically there's only two in existence. You have the original contract in yeah. this one, so yeah, there's only yeah, two in existence. The <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, yeah. What is this? That is, what is this ongoing support you speak of? The young ones I mean, have a very specific request. Yes, uh, and he 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 lowers Tati down gingerly, like like making sure she's not gonna like try to swing on Malachi as he does so. And Just then, come. like he put okay. If you don't, if you puts, don't let me let me go. Let me. He go. is letting you go. He, See, see, it literally, see, this is why, this is why people mess with you. Like, I was literally describing me letting you go, and then you being ignorant. <laughs> I'm and now I'm you, I'm asking, let you. I'm asking you, I'm asking you to let me go. That's all I'm asking. I, I'm just asking you to I know, go. I am letting you go. You just need to chill. <laughs> what did we just talk about? Why are we fighting in front of company? Not, We're I'm literally just. Talk to you. I'm fighting with you. I'm at, I just asked a question. He I mean, looks pointedly at you as you prove his point. <laughs> That's the question. Jesus. I'll point out to Guy Lion that there's a hook over there you can just kind of hang on by his you know, belt. No, so he, he is a team, he is a valued team member, and I'm trying to treat him with respect. But he is, but we are, we cannot be squabbling in front of each other. We cannot be squabbling with each other right now. Guy Lion said, but he trying me. <laughs> we cannot do this. <laughs> All right. And then so he, he puts it he puts mm -hmm. down. And uh, try it. And Thank you. I'm sorry. And, yeah. and this is yeah, this is. I think that this is the. Yeah. This is quite possibly the the most tense or serious that you all have ever seen, Die Lion, since you have met him. Boy, it's chill. Yeah, Tati's on her best behavior. Okay, cool. So yeah, what did, what were you looking for, Tati? It, 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 yeah. We wanted to to summon uh uh El uh uh Ari Elsaf uh, Elsaf Elsaf yes. And then uh, 
I was just saying that we it would be great if like in hell, uh if there was a you know, an oasis of sorts. A place that we could come back to. Uh like a place that we home base. Yeah, a place that we know that people are not literally out to snatch our souls. And a place where we can butt in line of everybody else at the front gate. <laughs> that too. I don't want, yeah, VIP treatment. We come and go as we please. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Walk into the tell you what, oh if, if you've got a, if you've got a visual is. for this, if you've got a visual for this person, I can do my best to send yeah. to them. Was there, was there anything yeah. else you think that we... Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, and then he's, he turns to Malachi. He's like, well, is there anything else that you think that we need? Food, food is... The food that you gave us earlier was wonderful. I would, I would like some more. Yes, that would be... Oh, yes. Food to, to, to feed ourselves would be great. Do that, does this that sound agreeable fair. to you? All right. This seems fair. Anything? If, what, I, what I will tell you is that if, I, if I'm not able to, if your description does not work and he does not reply, then that point is moot. But okay. while you are here in Avernus, and as long as your soul is not bound to anyone, you will be able to come and go from Fort Knucklebone as you please. In front of the land. You come as you schedule your appointments. So no budding rights. No. We have or we have look, we have an order here. What do you think this is? The abyss? Well, that's what we told to the uh Biker Knowles, but uh, they, they seem to think otherwise. Um, Look, yeah, I deal, I deal with people who break the rules and, uh, according to my own time. Wiz Fang knows how things work. And if anything is, if anything is not above board here in Fort Knucklebone, you can assure that I'll make sure that it gets above board. But you don't circumvent my authority. Is that understood? That's very fair. Crystal clear. How do we set an appointment with you, Maggie? Next time, you can speak to Barnabas at the gate if you need to speak with me directly. Fair enough. Tati describes both um, tiefling form and are they human in the other form? Like he was elf. I th to elf, He was yeah. an elf in the other form. Yeah, so describes both of those forms to Maggie. Okay. What would you like to say? Tatin, is it? Y yes. Um, to tell him t Tatian has some Co contract questions um, and th that uh, it, it would be nice if he res responded b before the e end of the world. All right, keep it cool, kid. I can only do 25 words or less. It, it's, it, it is. It's just this to stutter. You d don't have to in include that. <laughs> It does make the telegram a lot shorter. <laughs> indeed, 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 that's all. <laughs> okay, rude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you can't say you can't say rude. You have been throwing hands. So this is just you right. gotta take you those. You, 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 no, you have to take you these for no reasons. You have to take right. those verbal licks if he took the if he took the physical one. All right. <laughs> right. Fine. We just have to have. I'm just trying to try to show equal support because I love you both. And so you were wrong. You um you see so right. um you see 
you see Maggie um, uh, tap her staff on the ground um, and a uh, circle um, of red light um, uh, appear around her with glyphs in it. Um, and she closes her eyes um, and and she is silent for a moment. And then you simply hear her say, All right, bastard. You've got a friend of yours looking for you. If you're there, Holla back. Holla oh, back. Holla <laughs> back. Can you? Who did? You... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. After a few moments, um, you don't hear anything. Nothing happens. You sure you know this guy? Yes. Is there anything more specific about who you would be? Uh, uh, um, the, sm uh, the small one who uh, helped him out. Uh, to tell him, um, we went through the portal to together. You all both unlock the door, the portal. Uh, uh free day, uh... A distant r relative of mine. A prisoner. With a, uh, a, a temper. And she says that um, another couple of minutes go by and nothing. Look, kid, I need specifics. I'm the one that freed Tiamat from her prison. Well, that's specific enough. Which I think is the first time that any yeah. of the group... That would be a wait, what? Uh, yeah. yeah. This is yeah. the first time that you all have heard Tatian say that she freed Tiamat, the mother of dragons, from her prison. She's been saying in her sleep, Tiamat, and other things that Dylion and Malachi both have said, we're going to have to talk to her about this later. Yeah, she's... but but this is the <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this, but this, is, time, yeah. this is the first time that she has said that she's done this. Like, I mean, yeah, it could have mm -hmm. been like, oh, maybe Tiamat was like, she was having dreams of Tiamat. She is a cobalt, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. And after a few minutes of silence... You hear a swirl. You begin to feel a swirl of wind um, about you, filling the courtyard. And um, as this happens, a plume of purple smoke um, appears. Um, and the smoke somewhat fills the room, obscuring your vision. And after a couple of seconds, um, standing in that plume of smoke is an indigo-skinned tiefling um, with this resplendent rapier by his side. Um, and he is wearing uh, this, like, somewhat... Uh, like this somewhat gaudy tunic um, with like stars and sparkles on it. Um, and 
he appears with his back to you, um, but he eventually turns and he says, You know, little one, I was hoping that we would be meeting again under better circumstances. But it seems that you're, um, it seems that you've gotten yourself into a larger pickle than the last one that I left you in. Oh, and by the way, you can call me Matthias for now. And that is where we will end our session today. So good to have Matthias back. I'm Matthias, I'm Matthias. I'm Matthias, I'm Matthias, I'm Matthias. Uh, this is my first time ever meeting this actual character. So that, I, Since I'm the very interested. beginning. <laughs> I did not hear anything that he's. I didn't hear anything that uh, the GM said. I think he lied. <laughs> Thank you for out. joining us. Yeah. Thank you for uh, uh, being with us um, in the midst of. Is it? Am I? Am I? Am I back? You're back now. Yeah. You're back okay. now. You're back, back now. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. You, yeah. you said something. Um, I got. Just to... to network issues. I have been sitting on that for ages. You've been sitting on that for ages, ever since you introduced the character? I've been sitting on that since the, the very first episode. What? I was like, wow. yes. <laughs> I was wait, like, if you're wait. traveling through hell, and you're going to be making deals with devils, uh-huh. I know one person who's made a deal with a devil. <laughs> and lived to uh, tell the story, and it was your mm-hmm. former character. That's yes. so, brilliant. Absolutely. So making his return. And so with that being said, I want to thank everyone for for joining us today. Um, And I also want to thank this amazing cast um, for the energy that they bring every morning um, that we are here. Um, You guys rock. Thank you so much. Um, I'm Winston Taylor Lewis III. I am the GM. Um, I'm a voice actor and a game designer. Um, And I'm joined by these wonderful folks. Who will. Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, my bad. Oh, yeah, it's me. Yeah, I'm first, right? Yeah, yes. that's, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, <laughs> your boy, Chris. Uh, I, I'm here pretty often, uh, uh, even though you can't tell from this uh, from this intro. Uh, are, are we ourselves yeah. again now? Yeah. I believe so, I, yes. I hope I hope so. We, we are ourselves. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I play on Tuesday, Tuesday nights with uh, the lovely Derica. And uh, here uh, on Saturday mornings is, you know, die line. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm the lovely Derica, your friendly neighborhood Hufflepuff. Um, and sure? in a few minutes, Hal is going <laughs> to lie to you. And I just want to give you a heads up. Um, so, uh, yeah, this has been fun. Um, it's, <laughs> if you want to know more about who Matthias is, you can check out Episodicals 2 on YouTube. And while you're there, you can check out um, the uploaded content from our streamathon last weekend. Um, that will be <laughs> great. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Tom. Wonderful. Yeah, it's a figure out how we got into this mess. <laughs> uh, good morning. I'm Hal. Uh, I usually uh, in- incorporate how I don't know anything about Harry Potter, but it turns out I'm really a big fan. But since Derek <laughs> retroactively declared that a lie, that's a lie. I really don't know anything about Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate favorite, it here. My favorite Harry Potter house is Lannister. Uh, my favorite Harry Potter character apparently is Prince Albert, as uh, determined by uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we'll just, we'll, we'll let that go, so. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lawrence, I'm playing Malachi, and, and, uh, my favorite Harry Potter house is, uh, it is still, uh, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, um, and I, uh, play here with my friends on Saturday and stuff. And like, you can catch me hopefully because I'm trying to get my computer and stuff 
working. Hopefully, I'll be on more room stuff when I finally actually understand how to and become computer literate. Because yeah, not. also um, when he reaches out to the person that lives in the same city as him that actually like works I, in computers, that would like, be a bruh, good idea. Like I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. No, I am. I am I'm working kidding, on I'm it. Kidding. I'm kidding. But uh, no, nah, uh, I I uh, I stream here. I stream on my own channel on Andre One Hundred and One once in a while when I'm when hopefully when my internet's not trash, and uh, I'm uh, here with my friends and I now I have to go back to Episodical so I can know who this character is because I don't think my character knows who your character is or he probably only heard him in rumors and in fairy tales. Fairy uh, there's tales? about sixty. There's a there's about sixty episodes worth of him. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, and then, mm-hmm. yeah. Did yeah, you know, I'm, this, a, I'm, a, I'm a binge. I'm a binge. I'm a binge watch it. Like no. maybe, but I probably Sarah have seen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. A, it was a fun I'm time. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure with the line of work that Malachi is in, he's probably heard of heard of you, but probably in a different name. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, people have heard of Matthias in many different names. Um, yeah. <laughs> in many different ways. like like but you're yeah. you're you're like you're you're Matthias. You're the one that robbed you're the one that robbed the uh the, the, store the and Lannister house. And we also want to thank our, our rip PCs who, who join us um week in and week out. Uh if you enjoyed our stream, I encourage you to um one, yeah, go back and uh, check out our YouTube and watch previous episodes um of Baldur's Gate Descent to Avernus, the D D Episodicals 4, um, to catch up to really get to know these characters because they are great. Um you can also join the Discord um to find out what is happening um in REM. Um, and also be included on on streams and game nights and different things like that. We just had our uh, second year anniversary um, as uh, Rim Alternus, and uh, it was great. We had a streamathon, and all the people that are that are in that stream are a part of a community. And many of the folks just started as as friends on the Discord that were connected and got involved. And so um, that's one of the things that I love the most about Rim Alternus is that like we're both by and for um, di- a diverse community of gamers, and I th- uh, and I and I love that. And so um, yeah, check out the Discord um, if you want to support uh, the work that we're doing as we're expanding, as we're doing more. Um, you can join our Patreon for just a couple of dollars a month. Um, you can support the work that we're doing here at Rim um, and allow us to continue creating a space to do stuff like this. Um, we also have streams happening all throughout the week, um, so uh, be sure um, to check out what is happening tomorrow. We have Light Clockwork, which is actually based off of the uh, Cottlesworth Clockwork Circus um, by Danny Oliver, which is actually on Kickstarter with its second issue right now. So please check out the Cottlesworth Clockwork um, Circus Kickstarter, the second issue. Um, Great art, great story, lovely world. Um, Highly encourage you to check it out and to um, and to support it. Um, because yeah, it's, it's really awesome. So you'll be able to watch, uh, a, um, um, a, a live playthrough, um, in the world of Cottlesworth Clockwork Circus in Light Clockwork tomorrow evening. Um, hey. at, uh, at, was it, it is at seven central time or 8 PM central time. Sorry. Um, 8 PM central time, uh, at tomorrow, uh, uh, tomorrow evening. So, um, so support, check it out. Um, and, uh, with that, um, I want to thank you all. Um, I do want to let you know that this is a bit of our, like our, uh, kind of season finale. And so we will be back, um, in, uh, in a few weeks, um, probably in a, like a month or two, there'll be information going up on our, um, uh, thank you for the correction is a bit at 7 PM central standard time. Um, not uh, 8 p.m. Well, we got to change that in the uh, the in the blurb. 
But um, we will be on hiatus, D- Descent into Avernus, uh, D&D Episodicals 4. Um, we're going to go on a break for a little bit, and uh, but we will be back. Um, we will be letting you know in socials. We will be letting you know on Discord. It will be a big hullabaloo um, when we come back. Uh, but we will be able to figure out what is going on with this party, um, what Matthias may know, and and all of that jazz once we return. So um, in that meantime, we will miss you, but we will be around. You'll see us on, many of us on other streams that are happening on this channel. So um, thank hashtag, you. Yeah, hashtag making up Rudis Great. All right. Hi, all. Thanks for I, coming. I, I that, hear it. I with hear that, it. I'm going to say be good people, uh, be decent to oh. one another, um, and we will see you again very soon. <laughs> uh.